Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, another unfortunate situation for Boeing. Thank God nobody died uh, on this Alaska flight, but Boeing just can't make stuff as good as they used to, and uh, people are gonna be looking for alternatives. Now, in this video, we're actually going to explore um, an in-depth study of a Boeing chart, because as you know, uh, we have posted Boeing on our short list, top 10 stocks to short in 2024. Now clearly, uh, as 13 market moves uh, analysis team, we didn't know there was gonna be a almost a crash happening this weekend, but we do know charts here. So if you stay through the rest of this video, I'm gonna give you some powerful insights that uh, put us in a, highly profitable position by studying the charts. Now, twice on Boeing shares over uh, the course of the last uh, five years, I've got the historic examples here. So let me bring up the charts without any further ado. Let's dive in and study this. Um, so you could understand charts better, guys. Top 10 stocks on 13 market moves short list. Um, Boeing. Probably gonna open about 10, 15% down tomorrow, but how did we know to short it? Um, here's, here's the story. Okay guys, so um, just as any professional, anything that anyone is really good at, doesn't matter, you're a doctor, uh, whatever is that your occupation in life, uh, when a patient comes in to you, say you're a doctor and you're looking at a patient, you're looking for certain things, okay? So as, as one that dedicates his life to studying the charts, me personally, I look for irregular, uh, fucking irregularities on the charts. And what most people are taught when they look at charts is to focus on the trend, right? So the Boeing trend, like here's your trend, trend, trend. Okay, there's nothing exciting about this because there's, the moves are small, it moves up, down, so you can't really trade options around this unless you just buy a long-term option. And by the time you buy a longer-term option, like say it's six months expiration, by the time it, it reaches your target price or whatever, it's, there's not a whole lot of money to be made in, in this type of uh, scenarios. So you look for irregularities um, if, uh, if you're trying to be uh, profitable on, by utilizing charts and charts analysis. So in order to get good with that, it helps to look at thousands and thousands and thousands of charts during different time frames, okay? And look for instances at some repetitive behavior during certain time frames. So I'll tell you a, a quick story about what happened to me in 2019. Um, I was holding 1,200 contracts of Boeing puts and they expired on a Friday. While Monday, we get the announcement of the crash and shares dropped from 420 all the way down to almost like 360. It's like a 15, 20% drop in one day. So I miss it over one day of expiration millions, millions of bucks just in this trade alone. And so once you have a setup like this, though, you go back and you study it and it is identical setup back in 2019 that I remember just by looking at tons and tons and tons of charts that caused me to put Boeing on 2024 uh, top 10 short list. And the similarities are astounding, right? So pay attention to this black candle. Um, guys, we don't have time to cover black candles in this video, but if you care to learn more about them, uh, they help you identify some major reversals in the market, uh, some major reversals in whatever you are trading. In this particular case, Boeing, very consistent reversals on black candle. Look at this black candle, what happens next? Drop, drop drop uh, three, four days in a row. Um, black mini candle right here, drop, drop. Another black candle, slight move higher, followed by three drops. Um, but in this particular case, right, when we combine some other things like the cross, I've been referring to the cross a lot because it's been happening in many, many sectors, many, many uh, stocks right now. 
they're going through this bear cross on MACD. Right here, uh, we're looking at the chart of uh, 2019, back in April. Um, the crash actually happened in March, but this chart ends up uh, covering the April time frame as well. But you can clearly see, right, the indication that the bigger drop was coming was there. And we'll go lower one, two, three, four, five days, followed by a 15, 20% drop. So when I saw the similarities in this part of the chart in combination with this and accumulation distribution, some of the RSI factors, um, look, I mean, it's identical, right? This, this now we're looking at just now, uh, seven, eight days ago, December, 1000, uh, uh, December 29th, 2023, uh, black candle signifying the top, similar RSI right here. What do you see here? It's a MACD cross, okay? Uh, it's a bearish cross, so let's put it in red so there's no confusion. This is a bear cross. It indicates that things will begin to drop off in this direction. Okay, so understanding these stops, guys, we give you hundreds and hundreds of examples in our charge divergence course, right? So anyone that have listened to our top 10 stocks to short list uh, for 2024, guys, every one of those stocks are down. Uh, by far the biggest winner on that list is Apple. The day after we posted the, the list of our top 10 stocks to short, guys, uh, the day after, Apple gets a downgrade. Two days later, it gets another downgrade. So now, what used to be all favorite stocks, now it's in big disfavor with the market. And it clearly, I mean, Apple is going to go way, way lower this week. But I think Boeing, considering what just transpired over the weekend, uh, I think the stock is headed for a probably 10-15% drop over the course of the next two days with a bigger drop clearly being uh, tomorrow, January the 8th when the market opens probably at 5, uh, 4 or 5 in the morning they're going to be unloading pre-market uh, institutions are going to be unloading the stock. But we've seen this, right, we've seen this uh, on the 29th. Uh, I've recorded the video, I think I posted on the 30th or the 31st, we said Boeing shorted. And clearly, there's no way for us to know that, hey, there's gonna be a crash. That would be ridiculous, okay? But when charts are pointing to a top in a TRO, TRO, train reversal opportunity, I mean, this is when things happen fast and when you're trading short-term options expiration, you want things to happen fast. If you want to drop, you want it to come fast. You don't want this drop to come over the course of you know, three months. You want this drop to come over the course of three days. This is how you make huge returns. This is how you're able to put together 10, 20, 30, 40 type X trades. But the context to that, okay, yes, we clearly could not have foreseen uh, another crash uh, another issue for Boeing uh, this weekend. Um, and again, thank God everyone is a lot, but the charts have spoken a week before the stock is about to probably gap down in a huge way tomorrow. Now, even if we take that bad incident uh, over the weekend completely out of the equation, let's review what Boeing, January 5th, that's the last day of trading, okay? So we've given you this trading idea right here, okay? Uh, again, let's put it in red here. So there was a cross right here on our eight day moving average line and the 13 day moving average line. And this one starts, things start begin to fall apart. Uh, the sell volume begins to uptick. All of that is taking place under the conditions on a bearish cross on the MACD right here. And this is for the first time after accumulation distribution has been going to the moon, right? We're seeing a down tick. Now, the reason why I believe that tomorrow on January 8th, besides a clear catalyst, right? That the stock could go down possibly to 215, uh, possibly even to a level of 208. 208 would be a level equivalent to the drop that the stock had experienced back in, uh, so if we just go back 
And look historically, right? So this drop right here that I'm referring to, a drop from like almost uh, 425 down to almost 465, take the percentage and apply to the current uh, price level. So we could see Boeing at 208, which means uh, we pretty much nailed the drop from 260s all the way down. Guys, I mean, that's a 25% drop within days, right? So for those of you that missed this trade, guys, my recommendation is study the charts. Study the charts, okay? Don't try to pay too much attention to the news because the news always reflect something that has already happened. And so, for example, if you trade options, as we do here, uh, the fact that the information is already out over the weekend about this uh, crash with Alaskan Airlines, the fact that all international airlines have grounded all their 737 Boeing, uh, every airline uh, locally have grounded all, all of their airplanes, okay? I mean, this is by the time the market opens, all of that stuff is going to be priced. And so the stock will be dropping. And at that point, most of you will be like, well, hey, I want to buy puts. Well, the time to buy puts was right here. The time to buy puts is not uh, tomorrow, Monday, January 8th, when the stock is crashing and everyone's trying to get out of it because this, this incident over the weekend, it will spook a lot of investors. And as you can see, based on the accumulation distributions, there's a lot of people that can still sell, which is why I believe, even though it's not a deadly incident like the one we've had back here, uh, where we had basically two plane crashes. I, I mean, I mean, it was horrible, right? We're talking about 300 deaths, over 300 deaths, right? Uh, stock drops 15, 20%. Um, but what's also notable for you guys, if you study these historic analogs, is what happens next, right? Uh, stock bounces, which is an ideal moment to reshort it again. I mean, the stock gets in a lot of trouble to where it basically drops. Um, all the way to like $115, I believe at one moment, right? And then it, it works its way up from there. So, and overall this would have been what? I mean, this would mean your head and shoulder formation, right? So uh, we're at the very, very top now as of June 5th close. So there's still plenty of room for the stock to go, but don't just don't try to short it blindly tomorrow when it's already dropping, guys. You missed the train on this one. Um, and it sucks because you probably watched the video we've posted, top 10 stocks to short and you missed it. So you're probably wondering, okay, well, what do I do now? Guys, the, the recipe is simple, okay? Uh, study the charts with 13 market moves, okay? Uh, we have, top three shorting ideas for this week that I think could potentially outperform the drop in Boeing. In other words, I'm saying that yes, Boeing could drop 15% uh, tomorrow over the course of the next two days, but we actually got three trading ideas in store that could produce even greater movements in these three underlying things that we're looking to trade. So. Um, if you want to know what exactly we're looking at, schedule a call, talk to anyone here at 13 Market Moves, okay? Um, ask any questions you have. And guys, within a 20-minute coaching call, we can't answer all the questions. But I think, uh, you know, if we don't have time to answer your questions within 20 minutes, I'll just, uh, I'll post a video on some of the questions that you guys have. So, um, but more importantly, use this opportunity uh, there's many charts. I'm fixing to go in and review 21 charts with you. Um, and, and very rarely does the market speak so unanimously in favor of a bear move. And the question is, okay, yeah, a lot of things are going to drop, but you want to pick the stuff that's going to drop the most, like Boeing, right? So the train is going on Boeing, but um, can you still catch some trades that are even better setups than Boeing? Uh, yes, absolutely. And uh, I invite you to do it with us. Uh, start your year strong, 2024. Set some fucking records. And it starts with you scheduling a call here at 13mmtv.com, guys. Um, don't forget, we got crazy special going on our 
entries and exit scores, don't miss that. And, uh, you know, it's Sunday, guys. I'm recording this on a Sunday. Uh, the market opened at 6 p.m. today. Don't forget, we're trading options and futures at 6 p.m. today. Call us, sign up to trade with the coach. You could be putting on some highly profitable trades as early as 6 p.m. Eastern time tonight. Let's do it. Trading wins and losses is just like everything else in life that is worth fighting for. You remember your marriage? Man, it was beautiful when you were getting married, but you had no idea how ugly the losses of this divorce were actually going to be. Like opening a business, thinking you'd get rich overnight. But in the midst of it, you ended up maxing all of your credit cards just to sustain that business for a few years before you even realize a tiny bit of your first profits. Like buying a house, thinking it would go up in value forever and ever. Just realizing how wrong you actually were when 2008 hit. Like having kids, it was such a great idea at first. Remember how excited you were, terrified and scared at the same time, how much joy you actually had. Until your kids turned two. Man, the terrible twos. You thought that was bad until they turned 13, 14, 15, Shit, but you wouldn't change it for anything. You love your kids, no matter what your emotional losses or wins are with them, no matter what your financial losses or wins are. It really doesn't matter, does it? You don't quit on your kids, no matter how tough things actually get. For some of us, it's the same thing with trading. Just think, how long are your kids going to be your kids? The answer is forever. How long do you see yourself trading the markets? If your answer is forever, then you owe it to yourself and your kids to invest in the 13 market moves formula so that your life journey of trading would be most rewarding and joyful, both financially and emotionally. Live to trade, trade to live. Conquer the world one trade at a time, fearlessly using the 13 market moves formula today.